the cauldron was cold, but the horseman rekindled its fire, and in the hearts of the makers an ember of hope was born, hope for life and for what lies beneath the earth. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Definitive difficulty 100% walkthrough. We are playing this on the Xbox One, and in this episode, we are going to make our way to the Drench Fort. We're going to get a bunch of goodies, several boatman coins, secret chest, and all the good things. So, what was old hi, Maria. I'm going to sell some crap first. Sell, sell. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. My thanks. Sell it. Sell it. So right now, when I start leveling up possessed weapons, when I get possessed weapons, this stuff will matter. But right now it doesn't. Um. Okay. Do 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 do. And let's go, go, go. So, we're gonna go ahead and get our secret chest. So, come up here by Alia again. And you could have gotten this. We could have gotten this in the last episode. Oh, it's you. But. We have new items. Nah, I don't want to buy anything. But, there are five of these bases, and we just have to shoot them. That was number one. Let's see if we can do this correctly, because sometimes it'll shoot the side there. Number two. Um, so this is the Serpent Tome, and I talked a little bit about it in the last episode, I think. Um, but the Serpent Tomes, in case you missed it, are basically... Um, Number three basically existed because of the PS3 and 360 and original Steam version. The original version of the game where you had to like buy all the DLC and stuff. Um, aww. But, uh, you could send an item to a friend and you would get an achievement called the Pay It Forward achievement. But they've done away with it, so doesn't matter. And there was number five. And now we have a secret chest. So this, as far as I can tell, this is level specific. So if we had waited until like level 15 to get it, then everything in the chest would have been, um, everything in the chest would have been a level 15. Uh, da, 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 come on. There we go. Weeping crag. Alrighty. So now we're in the Stonefather's Vale. And we're gonna make our way into Shadow Gorge. And make our way through the fjord. Do, 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 do. And we're going this way again. If you remember, there was a boatman coin over here. So if you didn't get it before, um, you can go ahead and get it now. And we gotta shoot this and it's way more difficult to do on my horse. Come on. There, ah, dang it. There we go. I didn't want it to trigger the the cutscene. We tried to seal in the corruption, but no good came of it. If you're really going, don't let me stop you. Exploring's a wondrous thing. You never know what you might find. For instance, should a bit of armor turn up, it's likely some I uh, misplaced some years back. If you can find it, I'll be in your debt. What can you tell me about the tears of the mountain? The Dirinch Fort lies just beyond this barrier. It was the first thing taken by corruption. We sealed the Stonefather's tears inside, fearing what would happen if they spread. If I do as Alia asks, you'll soon find out. Aye, and the realm will be better for it. Whether pure as rain or black as sin, the tears will end this stalemate. It's odd how I often find you standing. Without the Tree of Life Horsemen, I'm trapped here just like you. A fortunate few slipped out before the tree was lost, like Ulthane.
And who is Ulthane? He's just another maker. Has a big hammer, is all. When he escaped, I feared to follow. And a good thing, too. And why is that? Well, you might still be looking for the Calder if not for my courage and wit. <sighs> Run along, Ryder. I'll rest a bit. <laughs> you do that, buddy. You rest a bit. All right. We, on the other hand, are going to continue. So, we are in Shadow Gorge. As denoted by the title card provided by the game. Thank you, guys. Um, there is another one of Oren's limbs. And these limbs, uh, you can't miss them. So, actually, that's not true. There is one that you could miss. But, uh... The other three, you can't miss them. And once you know where the that fourth one is, it's, you can't miss it. So, boom, boom, fight the things. So one thing to be careful of with your gun, with uh, redemption, is try not to use the last bullet. Because um, otherwise it takes forever to refill. So... And with these little stingers, we got that more to do. With these little stingers, um, they may be small, but especially in groups like that, they do a crap ton of damage. So just be careful with that. Use your bullets to your advantage. Oh man, that's right. That's right. Really? There we go. No. Distract them, ghoulies. Or don't. Take out the hive and then we'll stop getting attacked by stingers. So in this area, there are two boatman coins. Three, sort of. Um, there, are th there are three boatman coins that we're going to get, but... Technically, the other one is right at the entrance. It's it's technically here in Shadow Gorge, but it's right at the entrance of the Shattered Forge. So, there's one up there, and we will blow that up so we can get up there. But, first, we are going to go this way. And this is, this is the area I'm talking about. This is the entrance to the Shattered Forge. There is a stone bite, but we don't have the lure stone yet, so we can't get it. But back here is Boatman Coin number 14. Come on. Come on, Death. There we go. I almost called him War. <laughs> uh, Alright. So now, we're going to get the other two. Um, doo -doo -doo. And that's the closest you can get to dashing. Not going to lie. Alright, so this can be a little bit tricky. Nope. Here we go. Oh, I'm going number 15. And... We have a little fight. So, those shadow bombs, like, they don't... I don't know why they're there. Because they don't do anything. I thought, especially the first time I played this game, I thought, oh, okay, maybe they'll blow up and the stingers will go away didn't happen, and I was like, oh, maybe I just did it, like, at the wrong time. Try it again, maybe for these things. It didn't deal any damage to them. So I really have no idea what the purpose of those is. Are. No, is. Because I'm talking about the purpose. Um, it's late. It's so late. I do these recordings so late at night. Mostly because I'm an insomniac and I have trouble sleeping. So, which is a redundant statement. I apologize for my redundancy. Oh, you're not dead yet? Come on. There we go. Ooh, and I level up. Our power has increased. Okay, so come over here, and immediately to your right is Boatman Coin number 16. That, in my opinion, is one of the most, if not the most, easily missable Boatman Coin. So, make sure to grab that. Um, and all that switch did was open this gate so we don't have to go through all that again. We can just ride on through. Alrighty. Um. We're here in the fjord, and we are gonna go ahead and talk to Blackroot. 
and get boatman coin number 17. What? No, why? Why? Okay, I guess we'll talk to Blackroot oh, first. Hello, Fleshly. Didn't see you there. I was going to ask who you are, or rather what. My name is Blackroot, and I am hungry. For what exactly? Only the finest stones. I have ways of attracting such morsels, but it has been centuries since any were in reach. I must wait here for my master. I will starve if someone doesn't help me. Your people stand on the brink of destruction, and you ask me to feed you? If it isn't too much trouble, take this. It will guide the stone to you so you can bring it to me. Then, I shall eat it with great pleasure, and I will reward you. You eat? I am not like other constructs. In my form, life has taken root. It must be fed, or it will consume me. What about your master? Of him I do not speak, nor do I remember. He left eons ago. Now I am trapped here. How long have you been here? I have been gathering my strength for centuries, and my roots run deep. That is my problem. Alrighty, so now we have the lure stone and we can get those stone bites that we've been seeing all over the place. So here's number one. It's blue, so it's a mystic. Lure stone. The lure stone pairs itself with any struck enhancement stone, drawing them to its owner's location. Shoot an enhancement stone with redemption to awaken it. The lure stone will do the rest. So basically, it's what you just saw. You shoot the stone bite and it comes right to you. So that's number one. There's 69 in total. And um, there's a breakdown of how many there are. I believe there's 34 mystics. Come on. Okay. We're going to do this differently. There we go. You have to dash on or charge on despair to get it. You can't just hop down. So there we go. That was way harder than it had to be. So Bowman Coin 17. Um, but as I was saying, there are 34 Mystic Stone Bites, 25 Power Stone Bites, and 10 Resistance Stone Bites. So, and when you feed them back to, um, Black Root, come on, there we go. Um, when you feed them back to Black Root, you get enhancements, like, skill, uh, stat enhancements. So, like, three... Mystic stone bites, three of the blue ones, um, give you like arcane. And uh, three of the red ones give you power for you, Harbinger people. So, um, and they're different combinations, and I will talk about those later when we, when we trade them in. Specifically, um, oh, would you? I didn't get you. Okay. All right, so over here is there's a chest. So if I can get it to stop, there we go. All right, I think I need to charge the battery on my controller. Um, so come over here, up here, back jump, and there are three of those. And you can try shooting that. I never can get it to work, but. Kill these things, get ourselves some experience. Oh, oh, I got him. I was about to be disappointed. Don't know how I got him, because he moved, but... Come on. I should not have to use a health potion here. Okay. Freaking finally. Good grief. Alright, so we get this chest. And in the water is Boatman Coin number 18. So we'll grab that as well. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see here. Where you be? There it is. I see it spinning. 
Boatman coin number 18. And just a heads up, for some reason, with the Definitive Edition, it happens on everything. It happens on Steam. And the only thing it hasn't happened to me on, let's put it this way, is my Switch. It happens on my Xbox, on my PlayStation, and on Steam. But for some reason, there is... Um, hello, Volgrim. For some reason, there is, like, some kind of bug or something where occasionally the game audio will just stop. And the only way to fix it is to restart the game and, like, turn the game off and then turn it back on. Why it does that, I have no idea. But another thing that I noticed is that sometimes the, um, you can probably hear the stone bite. It's right up here. It's a resistant stone bite, but we can't get it yet. Um, we have to have the void walker to get that. But, uh, anyway, yeah, it, for some reason it cuts out the, the audio and nobody knows why. I have read forum after forum after forum trying to figure it out because it drives me bonkers. Um, but nobody knows why it never got fixed. Um, and it's only on the definitive edition. And like I said, it hasn't happened to me on the Switch. But that's the only platform it hasn't happened to me on. So, just a heads up on that. Your game is not, like, totally broken. If it does that to you, just restart it. For me, it, it happens later in the game. Um, I haven't really had it happen earlier on. So, and it's just, like, in certain areas for me. But I know people who play this, and or who have played this, and it's happened in this different no spots. So whatever us. triggers it, I have no idea. The forums don't seem to know either. Um, but sometimes it also does this with boatman coins, where it doesn't register. Um, I did a playthrough on Steam not long ago, and up here is a chest if we can't get it. You can see that boatman coin. We need um, death grip for both of them. So we'll get those when we get death grip. But uh, around here is another loot chest that we can get. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the Boatman coins, sometimes it doesn't register. I was playing on Steam, playing this game on Steam not that long ago, and um, it, for some reason, like it kept saying I only got 99. And here's the thing with me, right? When I started, after I played this the first time, and especially after I got all the DLC, I, like the, back when you had to actually buy the, all the DLC, um, I, when I make these guys, basically as I explore, I, <laughs> I know this is pathetic because I could just buy a guide, but I don't like doing that, um, like a Brady guide or a Prima guide or something, but, uh, I write down what I got and where I got it, and then that way, until I fully learn the game, um, I don't miss anything, and I can get everything, like the 100% and all that. And so anyway, I I actually printed off my list, and whoa! Wow, that was not a smart decision. Um, okay. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. So anyway, I printed off my list, my collectible guide list that I made, and I'm sure you saw that Boatman coin, we'll, we'll grab that in a second. We're going to come up here, and I actually don't know what this little area is called. I don't think there's actually a name for it, so to me it's just the building at the end of the fjord. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, um... And I checked them all off. Literally, as I got them, I took a pen and I put a check mark by it. And I didn't miss anything. But for some reason, the game only the game said, "Oh, you only have 99." And I'm like, "No, man, I have 100." So, um, there's Power Stone Bite number one out of 25. But yeah, so that's another thing to be aware of. So I, I mean, and with the the. Stone by or not stone bites with the um, boatman coins, of which there is another right here, number nineteen. Um, it there's not an achievement, so it doesn't really matter. But for me, for a one hundred percent 
person, I... It drove me absolutely crazy. So just a heads up on that as well. Alright, so now... We can keep going. And... Do, 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 do. Grab this other boatman coin. And that is the last limb. That's the one I said is can be easy to miss the first time. But once you know it's there, you probably won't ever miss it again. So... Um... Boom! Alright, let's go to the drench fort. Do, 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 do. And there's one more thing on the way. And that is a mystic stone bite. Do, 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 do. And this stone bite is also very easy to miss if you're not paying attention. Um, even with the, the sound they make. So. Boom. Number two. Stone of the Mystics. See, on the list it says Mystic Stonebite. On the fancy thing at the bottom of the screen it says uh, Stone of the Mystics. So, I just call them stone bites. Let's kill these things. Dang it. And I believe there are two... Yeah, there's two waves of these. I can't remember two or three for a split second, but it's two. So. Shoot in the things. Is that all of them? Yes. Okay, so you might think that there are things in these little corners here. There's not. There's nothing there. They're just decorative and deceptive. Do. do. Alright. Kill the things. Okie doke. And as you can see, we need a maker ball. So we're gonna go get it. Ah, there we go. Climb on up. And follow the path, the wall path. Grab yourself a shadow bomb, a non volatile shadow bomb, and shoot. One time and only one time I've had this thing roll right into the uh, slot. And I don't know why it did it, I don't know how I did it that way, but I did, and it made me happy, and I've not been able to do it since. So, and that was on the original PS3 version, I think. Alright, so, here we are at the Drench Fort. It's all the things. Alright, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.